Good afternoon, I'm Joe Langsworthy with the latest sports news this lunchtime. Katarina Johnson-Thompson has won her first global outdoor title. She took gold at the World Championships in Doha and scored 6,981 points to claim a new British record. It is Team GB's third medal in the tournament, following Dina Asher-Smith's success in the 100 and 200 metres. Andy Murray has been knocked out of the China Open by world number no. 5 Dominic Thiem in straight sets. The two-time Wimbledon champion was broke early in both sets by the Austrian who won 6-2 and 7-6 in the Scotsman's first quarter-final appearance in over a year. Ben Stokes now has even more silverware to add to the trophy cabinet. The World Cup hero was awarded Players Player of the Year at the Professional Cricketers Association dinner on Wednesday. Stokes helped lead England to a victory in this year's World Cup after a dramatic final at Lord's, where the tournament hosts won the match on boundaries. Other notable awards include Young Player of the Year, won by Tom Banton, and women's player Sophie Eccleston. Ralph Hasenhutl will soon be speaking to the media ahead of Southampton's game against Chelsea this weekend. The Saints lost to Tottenham last week, whilst Chelsea beat French side Lille 2-1 in the Champions League on Wednesday. Our reporter Seb Zaney will be coming to us live from Staplewood later on with all the reaction. Some local news now, and students have been relishing a new facility at the university. A new sports complex opened earlier this summer and includes a state-of-the-art gym and high-performance centre. Marcus Sanger, course leader for the fitness and personal training course, believes the centre is essential for the development of the student-athletes. Um, I mean, the space in terms of this facility is probably four times the size of the facility that the students were using uh, previously. The equipment is state-of-the-art, all completely brand new, and it also supports a number of other projects, uh, particularly for Solent PT, where the, the students here on the courses in the second and third years, they'll have clients coming in from outside and staff within the university to train as well. So it's a huge help. Solent University, Wessex and Bucks football teams have been selected. This season's squads were announced on Monday at Test Park following a rain-affected final selection process. Over 180 players showed up to the trials, almost half being told to go home after 45 minutes. First team manager James Campbell said that the selection process is very tough, but they feel safe in the knowledge that they have selected the right players. The Bucks first team play their first game next Wednesday away to Bournemouth. That's all for now. I'm Joe Langsworthy. Stay tuned for more Solent Sports News at 3.30.